Hello everyone. Right now we're going to start our first uh, trial with Dual Destinies. At the moment I can't play Apollo Justice or the Miles Investigation series because I need their physical copies for the Switch or the Nintendo DS, whichever comes first. And that's the same thing with the trilogy and all that. So for now everything else is on the phone so I can't play everything that. So let's start from the beginning, more or less. <laughs> These are dark times, where the law has been reduced to rubble, and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. Yeah, you know what you mean. Looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Don't you worry, I've got a trusty new partner on board. She's been with us for half a year, though I can hardly believe it. Anyway, her power will be our greatest weapon. Are you all right, Miss? Yeah, it's for this very reason. Time to bring it to an end. Does it begin now? Yeah! Turnabout countdown! Every, like, tutorial ever race attorney. Okay. Yeah! This best, the best thing about this bomb is how they erase and destroy without discretion. Now, all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. Hmm, nope, not feeling nervous at all. It's amazing what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. Okay, I have to be honest, I love the graphics of this game. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it looks so good. You doing okay, Athena? Oh, Apollo! Y yeah, 
doing great. Like, I'm a little too great. Oh, yeah? Well, that's good to hear. Although, I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Oof! I'm not transparent, huh? Cracking? No, no, no! My voice isn't cracking! Nerves of steel here, I tell you! This is Apollo Justice. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Apollo is the lead off for the defense on this case. But I'm going to be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That explosion really did a number on you. I'm just happy you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. That's why I'm going to step- that's why I'm going to see to it that Juniper's name is cleared. I'm sure you feel the same. You got that right. I won't rest until Junie is completely cleared of all suspicion. Apollo, Lena. Thank you for doing this for me. Judy! Hey, are you okay? Sorry about that. I always seem to go into a coughing fits whenever I get nervous. What kind of thing? This kind of thing happens <laughs> at home in the forest, though. This is Juniper Woods. She's my dear, dear childhood friend. And she's also our client for this case. The news keeps reporting, repeating that Junie is the one, is the alleged bomber. But that's ridiculous. There's no way Junie would do anything like that. I brought you a little snack, Athena. Just something from my garden. Hey, thanks. So, um, is this an orange or a tangerine? It's an orange. My grandmother says that orange is the color of strength and endurance. Oh, what a good friend. <laughs> oh, I get it. Strength for the trial, right? Junie, you're always so good to me. Jeez, look at me, standing here clutching an orange to my chest with tears in my eyes. Well, don't worry. We'll be so powerful in there, they won't know what hit him. Right, Apollo? He's going to keel over. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's right. Come what may, this is one trial. We can't lose. Oh, look at that. Apollo! Apollo! Mm. Blood is seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must have reopened. All this time he was trying to put on a brave face, but he was really overdoing it. Mr. Justice! Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What? Now? But Apollo's in no state to defend. Uh, uh, ah! I... I have to defend Juniper. What are we gonna do? The trial's about to start with or without us. There's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. But even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. No, wait! There's something else I can do. Apollo? Give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you gonna do? Bailiff? Yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of an attorney petition. Athena! You're not seriously... You just con concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Junie. All by yourself? <sighs> Athena, stop for a sec and think about what you're saying. You've never taken a case on alone before, right? No hay problema. I can handle it. I think. <laughs> but I guess it's really up to you, Junie. Would you okay would you be okay with me taking over? Um sure. I believe in you, Athena. 
And that's enough for me. You're worried for me, aren't you? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart my heart might just burst out of my chest. But you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. So you just have to leave it to me. All right. I can see your mind's made up anyway. I hate it that I can't be there, but I know you'll give it your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet I will. Rest assured of that. My name is Athena Sykes. I'm still just a newbie, but I'm a lawyer. This is only the second time I've taken the lead in a defense case. It'll be the first time I stand up there alone, though. But I have to do this. And I'm definitely not about to let anything ha bad happen to Juniper. Court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The defense is ready, Your Honor. God, I love her design. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. Uh huh. And what is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. Yes, well, the substitution of an attorney petition was submitted just a few moments ago. Due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday, Mr. Justice is unable to continue. Is it a tradition in the right anything agency to go through something perilous? You can to believe that. I see, I see. And not at all surprised he used that as an excuse to run away. With me as an adversary, who wouldn't want to fang illness in order to escape? What? The nerve of that guy? I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. But well, I would if I wasn't so nervous. Ugh, this arrogant jerk. You arrogant jerk! No! Watch it! Is my hearing getting worse? I could have sworn I heard the defense say something just now. And no, you didn't hear anything at all. Especially not from me. Hmm, how odd. I could have sworn I also heard something. Oh, that would be my indispensable partner, Widget. He sometimes blurts out when I'm thinking. <laughs> well then, if that's the case, then it's a clear contradiction to what you just stated. A contradiction? You just said you said nothing. However, if that device of yours says what you're thinking, then you indeed said I was. What was it? Elegance at work? Eve! Actually, it was arrogant jerk! At any rate, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? What the frick, man? No fresh out of law school rookie can defend this witness. Mr. Payne, I believe that's enough. Let us get back to the case. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl why they call me the rookie humiliator. I knew it. Really is an arrogant jerk. <laughs> arrogant jerk! Miss Sykes, if you continue to insult the prosecution, I will remove you from this court. Uh, I'm very sorry. It was just a knee-jerk reaction. Now then, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Thank you, Your Honor. And now then. The incident occurred yesterday here at this very courthouse, in courtroom number four. At the time, the trial for a certain bombing was being held in courtroom four before. Oh yes, I was presiding over that trial as well. I, Mr. Justice, was there as the lawyer for the defense. A bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. It was a terrible incident, and courtroom number four has, was completely destroyed. Fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more and it would have turned into a horrific loss of human life. But there was, in fact, one death, was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. When courtroom number four was examined after the blast. 
the body of Detective Candace Army was discovered. She was taken to this, taken. She was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she was able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy! Most of it, I stumbled out at least ten times myself before I was able to escape. Maybe the court should see to getting you even shorter robes. Hey, yeah, Athena. The victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. I suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide the others out to safety. Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report. <sighs> and details about the bomb. Okay. Okay, I know this how this works. All evidence for the trial is filed in the court record. When I want to check something, I just tap the court record panel in the upper right. I better take a peek later. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Oh. Defendant, are you feeling alright? You're looking a bit pale. I'm so sorry. I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here in the courthouse. But I, I'm alright. Jimmy's really giving it her all. I better make sure I do the same. Yeah, if we could please proceed. Your name and occupation, defendant? Juniper Woods. I'm a high school student. Mrs. Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes, I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend Athena. And I was so... I was there yesterday. To watch this trial and lend my support! Something's wrong. She's really scared. <laughs> Did you know I'm also known as the Defendant Humiliator? If you humiliate her on the stand, we're gonna have problems, man. She is adorable. It looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. Who'd want that as a moniker? Does this arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Judy, no matter what! Hey, you arrogant- uh, I'm- Prosecutor Payne! Hmm? What is it? Do you want me to demonstrate why I'm known as the Rookie Humiliator instead? Deep breath, Athena. Don't let him get to you. For Prosecutor Payne, Judy is telling the truth. Mr. Justice also backed up her claim when he, when we, oh my god, I can't even say that one. When we saw him in the defendant lobby. And Junie, he said that he was glad to get that Lotus fruit you gave him too. He was? My grandmother says Lotus fruit is good for your eyes. She says they can even help you see into the future. They can? Then that's the perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must have not eaten them, then. Hmm. Sweet me, girl like this, blowing up a courtroom to bits. I must say it's very hard to believe. Objection. Now, now, Your Honor, don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant had a motive for committing this crime. Th that's not true. I don't have any kind of motive. And I didn't even know the lady who was killed. But if the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. The only thing that does in her objective was the destruction of courtroom number four itself. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Miss Woods want to do that? Hmm, that's a very good question, coming from a novice such as yourself. But first, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on a false charges? What? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. And didn't that experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? Now wait just one minute, if that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. That is scary for the right anything agency. 
That's a valid point. We wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing in the land. Man, the judge knows. I could see the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the court. But Miss Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Decisive, huh? I'll believe it when I see it. It involves a very unique aspect of the bomb itself, Your Honor. And what exactly was so unique about it? Hmm? Why didn't we have Miss Sykes answer that question? Huh? Not me? Mm -hmm. I noticed that you appear to be very nervous, and well, gentlemen that I am. I'd like to offer you this chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really, what a thoroughly unpleasant man. Alice, we're losing! <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say now? <laughs> Nothing, not a single thing. Now let's see, what was I supposed to do at a time like this? Oh, I know, the court record. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Miss Sykes, let's hear your answer. What was unique about the bomb that blew up the court? Was it because it was... The stuffed animal. Well, yeah. Mr. Payne, what kind of simpleton do you take me for? It was a stuffed inside a stuffed animal. It's evil intentions covered up by a cute exterior. <laughs> Very good. Have a cookie. You suck. <laughs> the bomb that went off in the courtroom was hidden in was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am fine. Just like I said from the start. I can do this! Yes, as I recall, the bomb was stuffed inside a stuffed animal the whole time. I never got I never even got to take a look at it. But what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence which I have here. And what pray tell is this? It appears to be a little singed. It's a tale, Your Honor, the tale of a poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible. Are you saying it's Detective Army's tale? How on earth are you a judge? Your Honor, it's so very close, but no, it belongs to the stuffed animal. It's called Phony Fanti, a rather unpleasant name if you ask me. Use the mascot for a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Exactly. His motto is Phony Evidence is just trunked up. That's so wrong in so many levels. The Phony Fanti's tail is made up of vinyl cloth, and we found something very interesting on the surface. The defendant's fingerprints. What? <laughs> the phony Fanti provided the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled the bomb. Why? Those appear to be pretty irrefutable evidence. The court accepts it into evidence. Alright. Miss Woods, do you have any explanation for this? I... I don't understand. I... How about you, Miss Sykes? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute this devious, decisive piece of evidence? Not devious, decisive. Uh, oh, well, I... Uh... I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. But I better come up with something for Judy's sake. If you can't produce an answer, we could go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. Ah, no! I have to say something fast! Oh no, I can't get my voice to work. Why now of all times? I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court?
As you can see, there is no room for debate. Objection! Why, it's you. Sorry, it took me so long to get here, Athena. Apollo explained the whole thing to me over the phone. I can't believe he made a dramatic entrance. I call him that. Phoenix just wanted to make a dramatic entrance. <laughs> he asked me to come to help you out in this place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now, let's turn things around. You got it, boss. Oh, oh Luke, it showed up out of the blue. You're funny, Judge. You're funny. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix right, you always manage to surprise me. Oh, Your Honor, I'm going to surprise you more. Your Honor, Mr. Phoenix called for an early ruling. But I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated. How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal tail? How was the bomb even detonated? Until these questions are answered, I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm, you are absolutely right. Let us continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Payne? <laughs> None at all, Your Honor. Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. Judy's really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah, it was understandably very traumatic of her. Poor thing. And here she is, back at the courthouse again, being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm. Given the defendant's condition, very well, I grant a special permission. You go get some rest, Ginny, and leave the rest to us. Okay, thank you. Sorry about this. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. Oh my god, you can't be serious. <laughs> You're more clueless than I heard. I do believe you mean, how do you do? For I am Gaspin Payne. I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne. Oh, his long-standing rival is not even present at the moment. What? Long-standing rival? Do I even... We've ever rivals, let alone long standing. You'll see, Mr. Wright. I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met with your with at your hands. <sighs> Looks like this royal pin is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. <sighs> your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a decisive witness to the stand. This witness will testify as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. 